hello everyone and welcome to my channel well this is going to be the 12th video on next year's tutorial and in the previous video we created a web page or a website with a home page about us services and contact us page wherein we created a small home page and an about us page with dummy data and services with the dummy data and a contact us page a contact page with a fully functional contact us form using node mailer and uh, today in this video we are going to learn how to deploy this website into a live server and uh, we have uh, versal over here so versal has provided us free hosting and we won't have to pay a single penny on this for that we'll go to versal.com we'll go to versal.com and we will sign up here and uh, you need to click on hobby because if you click on pro then it might ask you to make some payment for the pro plan so the plan type just click on uh, just click on hobby and you can put your name over here whatever your name is let's say john doe and you can click on continue and then it will ask you to continue with your github or gitlab or bitbucket or continue with your email so you can select any of any of the options if you have a github account then uh, you can continue with github and since i already i have already created the account here and i have been using it so i'm not going to sign up i'm going to log in instead and i'm going to log in with the github it might take a while now we are on the uh, home page of our versal dashboard and over here uh we'll check how to install versal first we'll go to docs and we'll start with the tutorial and here you can see uh it says while many of our instructions use the dashboard you can also use versal cli okay it says you can also use the versal cli to carry out most tasks on versal so first of all we will install the versal cli and for that we will go to our command prompt wherein our local server is running we'll just stop it by pressing ctrl c and selecting y and we are inside our project directory that we created in our local server or local system and here we will just simply write npm i dash g versal and it will install the versal cli command line interface and once it is done we'll just wait for a while till it is installing the versal cli all right it has installed the versal cli and now we will log into our versal versal login and continue with github so versal cli login successful and here you can see we have been logged in now now what we need to do is first of all we will create a build of our project this one so for that we will write npx next build and we will just need to wait It might take a while. Let's wait and see. So 
So it says compiled successfully, linting and checking validity of types, collecting page data, generating static route pages, uh, generating static pages. Okay, now the build is created. Now we can run this build in our local server as well. And for that, we can uh, we need to write npx next. And for the development server, we need to, uh, we use to type npx next dev. And for this, we will write npx next start. And okay, now we'll see. Now this is working on the production environment. It is running the build. So now we'll just stop our local server. And since we have already created the build, now we will deploy this to Versal. For that, all you need to do is you need to write Versal. That's it and hit the enter button. So it will say set up and deploy this project. Yes, so we'll hit yes and with scope of yes we need fcwss project so hit enter button link to existing project so no this is a new project so we are not going to link it to any existing project so n and then hit enter what is the name of your project it is aster hit the enter in which directory is your code located just hit the enter button no need to make any changes over here and it will take a while to upload the project and want to modify these settings so you just select n and hit enter and we can just go to the virtual dashboard and we can see it started it has started uploading the project just wait for a while So now what we need to do is we need to run this in Versal production. So we'll write Versal dash dash prod. You can see deploy to production, run Versal dash dash prod to overwrite later. And just hit the enter button. It's still building the production. We'll just have to wait for a while. All right, now we are done. So we can check this in our Versal dashboard. So we have got this Aster project over here. And now this is the domain name that is given by versal it's aster.versal.app and if you click here look your website is live now it's hosted in the live server even we can try to open it in the incognito mode versal.app so here you go So that's how we deploy our website in Versal. And over here, if you have your uh, custom domain, let's suppose if you have a, if you have already purchased a domain by the name, let's say www. 
aster.com then all you need to do is you can just simply create one more domain you can go to so in the uh, versal you can just click on domains and over here you can add a new domain like this and click on add and i uh, just a moment www.aster.com so it says add www.aster.com and re redirect aster.com to it or you can select this one add www.aster.com and over here you need to uh, change the configuration so you can see you have got the you just need to click enable versal dns and over here you can see uh, aster.com has uh, this name servers all you need to do is you need to log into the admin panel of your domain service provider and there you need to change the name server to this you need to copy this from here and paste it on the name server of your existing domain and then this will start and uh, this will just you know configure this custom or purchase domain to your uh, to your next js pro uh, project and that's all so that's how we uh, deploy uh, next js website in the live server so that's all in this video thank you so much for your time thank you and have a nice day